Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video I want to show you three cool astronomy products that captured my attention at NIF 2024. And here we have the Smart Eye electronic eyepiece from Pegasus Astro. With Smart Eye observers can elevate their stargazing experience by seamlessly transforming their small telescopes into powerful instruments. So what is uh, this uh, eyepiece? It's basically a hybrid device that will transition between electronically assisted astronomy, EAA, and traditional eyepiece observing. The smart eye will uh, fit in your telescope focuser like a normal eyepiece, but will provide you with much better views. And it will allow you also to capture images and even long exposures we have the Sony IMX 533 color Simeo sensor offering high resolution image capabilities, ultra high definition display, wide 90 degrees field of view, dual band Wi Fi that it uh, will allow you to see the objects also on your smartphone. To be able to power it, you'll need a small power bank like in this image. I would really like to test this. IPS camera because I could image in the same time and also observe the objects. The images are just fantastic. Look at the ring uh, nebula, galaxies, star clusters. Now let's move to number two. We have the new ASI 2600 MC Air. And this was really a surprise to see a um, uh, camera that has integrated also a guiding camera and an uh, SIR controller. And here we have uh, also more images with the camera. So it does have an antenna, main camera, guide camera and wireless controller. For the moment says the price is only 1999 US dollars. And here we have an image from ZWO. We have it on the AM5. So I've uh, just ordered the M5 and I think this camera will be a really nice match. It will give me the possibility to just go with this camera, travel in a border 3 sky, just place a telescope with a autofocuser on the M5 or other mount and I'll be able to guide, have autofocus and also uh, control everything from my smartphone. So having the SIR integration, I'm not sure if you'll be able to control uh, every autofocuser or just the ZWO, but I'll let you know in a future videos when I will get more information about this. I think will be some uh, contradictory opinions. Personally, I like the idea to have a smart camera that can help you get very uh, mobile, set up fast and control everything from your phone. And of course, if I do want to use it outside and control it from the PC, I think it should not be a problem to do that. So this was the ZWO ASI 2600 MC Air. Let me know in the comments what you think about this camera, if you would like to have it and why. Also about the eyepiece and also the last product that I'll show you now. And here we have the third cool product the Skywatcher Wave 100i. Here in this uh, video that I found it on Instagram from Skywatcher uh, USA is the uh, Wave 100. And you can see how, uh, how nice it moves. What I really liked about this mount when I saw here on Instagram the video is that uh, it can carry two telescopes and you can use two telescopes together. Uh, I think this is just uh, awesome. You don't need to put any extra dovetail and uh, it looks so good. And I already have a Skymax 127. Would be nice to have two Maxutov telescopes and use them in the same time and get her twice the exposure. Also, I can use two smaller telescopes, wide field refractors with two cameras. I could use the monochrome camera with a color camera and capture luminance with the mono and RGB with the other one. And if you are interested to see how to do that, check also my next video. It should be available soon. Or 
capture H alpha with the monochrome camera and go dual narrow band with the color. Here we have a larger telescope on the mount and you see this is just the wave 100 i i think this can carry up to 15 kilograms and the 150 up to 25. this is really nice that uh, skywatcher entered the harmonic drive race and we have more competition there this means the prices will be better and also the mounts will be better quality hopefully <laughs> now let's check also first the specification for the new skywatcher harmonic drive works in both EQ and AZ modes, built in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, USB for PC control, red LED backlighting for latitude scale and bubble level, quiet, fast, slowing up to 10 degrees per second, small, powerful and portable, RA power off braking function, internal homing sensors on both axes, optional carbon fiber tripod, bit extension and counterweight kit available. Optional heavy duty steel tripods compatible with optional SynScan hand controller. Okay, so it works also with the SynScan controller. Unless you're doing lunar or planetary, I think the smartphone is the way to go. So it does have Wi Fi. And we have here two models the Wave Mount 100i and Wave 150i. So let's see here some details, transmission mode, stepper motor plus belt drive and harmonic reducer, ratio 300 to 1. The, the payload capacity without counterweight is 10 kilograms and 15 kilograms with counterweight. And uh, on the other one, the payload capacity is uh, 25 kilograms with counterweight and 15 kilograms without. The 100i wave drive has also the dual hybrid vixen los mondi it will be able to use two telescopes but only the small one i didn't see any prices there but on a website i already found it at about 1700 the 100i model these were the three new cool astronomy products that captured my attention at nif 2024 so please let me know in the comments if you see any other interesting uh, items at uh, NIF 2024. Also let me know what you think about these three astronomy products that I found them uh, cool and more interesting. I uh, do want to see any opinions, if you like them, if you don't like them. Personally, I found them very interesting, especially the ZWO 2600MCR that is like a smart camera and also will guide and control the telescope and everything i want to give many thanks to all that subscribe to the channel and also to all that join the channel membership by the way if you do want to have the channel if you are interested in buying any equipment you'll be able to find affiliate links in my description if you want to support it more you can also join the channel membership and get also the cool astrophotography perks like downloading and using my astrophotography data that I'm sharing for channel members. Goodbye everyone and clear sky.